So over here, you can see that I got some scribble on my paint area. And now let's see how we can use the eyedropper tool. So let's say, for example, I want the exact red uh, to be taken as a sample so that I can draw it. Let me just go on to the pencil tool and go on to the size. If I were to click and draw it, you can see that black is the color that I'm selecting right now. So let me just select color red right here. And if I were to go around onto this tool right here called color picker, I can click on it. And then whatever color I choose right here, that is if I were to click on red, then you can see color one changes onto that exact tone of red. So if I were to go onto my pencil now, click and drag it. Now you can see that it is red. Let me just go to file and let's say, for example, I want to open out something. So I'm just going to go around right here and then open out another file. So let me just go around open and I'm going to go around onto my Dropbox onto my, uh, let's say, for example, my images. And let's say I want to bring in this image. So if I want to take a sample, so I'm on my sample tool now. So if I want to take this exact shade of blue, I'm going to go around, click on it, and you can see that that blue is there. So if I were to select the pencil, I can click and draw, and you can see that exact shade of blue is there. So I'm going to uh, take the color picker again. Let's say I'm going to select the screen. And if I were to go to pencil, click and drag it, you can see that now I got that exact shade of green. And that is how you can use the eyedropper tool inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>